No, just continue where I left off at. You're welcome, baby. You're welcome. You're welcome, baby. <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. Damn, they popping already. What's your name? Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay. Let's get your name. <laughs> They pop up the balloon. He like, okay, okay. <laughs> you see that, baby? You see that? Yeah. You working, baby? Jay. Jay, how old are you? I'm I'm 30, 38. Uh oh. Okay. And what, what do you Man, do? Mo Bob. Uber and Lyft driver. All right. Yeah. Now. <laughs> <laughs> my boy's an Uber Lyft driver. You feel me? That's what he do. You feel me? I ain't gonna lie to him. I do the same thing. You know what I'm saying? Uber Lyft. You feel me? I do the same thing. Uber Eats. I do all that. So yeah, I understand. So that's an occupation. Uber Lyft driver. Okay, okay. What are some things I like to do for fun? I like damn, to. Damn, she popped her balloon. I guess you like Uber and Lyft. <laughs> um. I like to swim. I like to go on adventures. Okay. I like to travel, you know, things like that. Got it. Now, what are some things to look for in a woman? Things I look for in a woman, integrity, um, somebody adventurous mm -hmm. as well, open-minded. Um, that's pretty much it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Cigarettes. I can't do cigarettes. Um, black and miles. I can't do that. <laughs> Weed is cool, but you can't smoke blunts. I can't have you smelling like my boys. You know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> he said, weed is cool, but you can't smoke blunts. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> you feel? Me? Hey man, this dude's funny, man, for real. Um, and that's pretty much it. Okay, all right. So we did get some pop balloons. Yeah. Let's go on over there and see why they ended up popping. Okay. Let's start over here with your name and age. Brittany, 28. Okay. And Brittany, why did you end up popping your balloon? Jack like my homeboy, for real. He's cool. He cool. We chat, chatted up on Facebook all the time. He, he... Oh, damn. So she know him. So so she like, nah, not not you, man. I'm, like, I'm on this show to make, like, for love. You feel me? But nah, we know each other. You know what I'm saying? So that makes sense. A lot for me, though. So oh. he's a lot. Yeah. <laughs> all right, Jay. Yeah, she my type. She my swag. I be in her DMs, but she don't be hitting She's me back. She's called your homeboy. She friends on you. Yeah, I know she friends on me. <laughs> That's cool, though. We were supposed to go to Sedona together, and it just never happened. I was going to let him take me to Sedona, and never he never hit me up about it, so. Dang. You know what I'm saying? They put to go to Sedona together. He didn't hit her up. That's crazy. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go on over there. Thank you. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Keela. I'm 26. And Keela, why did you end up popping your balloon? Well, you look good. I love the shoulders. Um, just not my typical type. Okay. Yeah. So I'm going to take a page out of Arlette's book. So what, it, what about me is not your typical type? You be specific. I mean, I would just say the height. Like, I'm short, but you're like just hitting. The height. He's taller than her, though. How's the height? How short is he? It's crazy. Five eight, five nine, probably. How tall are you? Five ten. I'm five ten. Yeah. yeah. Five ten. Um, and it looks like you like to wake up at four in the morning and run and and sweat even in the evening. Who sent you? No one. But I feel like Keela? you know I got your aura and it gives you know for the right woman. Okay. Um, and it's just not for me respectfully. Right. But you look good. Okay. Well, thank you. You're welcome. So do you. Okay, yeah. so Keila, someone that's your type. Um. She my type, but she don't look like she run at four in the morning. I don't. So I'm like, babe, I'm a cookie breakfast. But you still look good, though. You still <laughs> okay, look thank good. Thank you. I appreciate it. But I, I can't do the uh, lashes. Like, <laughs> yeah, the lashes. Like, I feel like if some something got in your eye, we would need a priest because you're going to levitate. <laughs> you're going to need an exorcism. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Not freaking. Damn. But you, Damn, she popped. She popped her balloon. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? She, she must put lashes on her on her eyebrow. You feel me, baby? <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, baby. Good though. Okay, that's yeah. just a red flag. Yeah. You know. I feel it. But I, feel I love it. the jokes. Thank yeah. you. Yeah, you're Thank welcome. you. All right, name and age and why you end up popping your balloon. My name is Angelique. I'm 32. 
it was the lashes comment. Yeah, I knew it. <laughs> the lashes. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Can I? <laughs> yeah, yeah. As soon as he says about the lashes, you're like, what? <laughs> you feel? <laughs> yeah, baby. I, women are going to women. You know, we're going to do what we're going to do. And I think for a man to make a comment about the things that we do, makeup, hair, lashes, like I get that it's not your preference, but let women be women. Right. Or That is true, though. You know what I'm saying? Let women be women. You feel me? But at the same time, though, like, he's the type of dude that he don't want all that for his woman, though. You feel me? Like, he, he don't want all that. But people like her, you know what I'm saying, women like her, going to disagree because he love doing all that. You feel me? So it is what it is. Not meant for everybody. You feel me? Don't date us. I knew you was going to say that. Why y'all be saying that? I don't know why y'all say it. I know I said it because maybe y'all don't realize that that's an option. Because, mm. okay. you know, we're going to do what we're going to do. Right. And to constantly have a man say something, is like, oh, I just wanted to put my lash on today. Right. Or I but just so, wanted to go to my extension. So this, this, this is my thing, right? So if you if you saying don't date women, who are you looking for? Because if all the men saying we don't like that, why you keep doing it? I didn't say all the men say that. I'm, I'm talking about I'm men that do you. say that. I feel like, so men are going to say that. And right. most men could care less if we wear lashes or makeup or hair or whatever the case is. Right. But for you to make a comment about it, it's different because you're not just allowing me to be me. You want me to be what you want me to be. And that's fine. Right. However, I don't want to be that. I feel, I feel that. it. Or any other woman. I feel oh. it. She right, though. You know what I'm saying? A man should accept a woman of who she are. You feel me? Everything. If a woman like putting lashes on, you know what I'm saying, doing her makeup and all her her hair and all that, let her be. You feel me? Let her do what she want to do. If you don't want that, you don't like it, hey, then she not for you. You feel me? You don't got to, like, put that out there, like, oh, your lashes. You know what I'm saying? She's not for you. You feel me? Like, you don't got to talk bad about, about about the woman. So, you know what I'm saying? So, I do get what you mean, you know, you feel me? Yeah, baby. Actually, I feel that. Let's go to her. I, like I like your eyeshadow, though. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> thank you. All right, your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh, 27. I don't know. He gives a lot for me. And I like my men's really chill because I like to do the most. So my man need to be, like, in the background, like, watching over me. I don't need my man doing the most when I'm doing the most. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Jay? I mean, that's kind of full circle on the first episode I was in. I said that, too, so I get it. Um, but what gives you a lot, like... I don't know, it looks like you're, like, very goofy, like, you go out, like, as, like, Africans, like, the Liberians would say, you like to fill a place, like, you like to be the center of attention, and I get attention, I don't like to be the center of it, so it's like, when we go out with you, a lot of time, I'm just gonna be feeling like you're doing the most, and I don't like that, I like my man lay back, very yeah. lay back, like, I need to be like, babe, let's get out of the house, and he's gonna be like, leave me alone, I'm tired. <laughs> If you, if you you look like you love to be outside. I don't. And I love to be outside. That's the crazy thing. Like, you would have to drag me out the house. Okay. All I do. And that's crazy, though. She just said, you look like you like to be outside. Looks are deceiving. You feel me? You feel me, Kanaya? Uh -huh. Yeah. Like, don't assume. You feel me? Like, don't assume do. that a person want to like, like, go outside. You know what I'm saying? Because he look like he want to be an outside nigga. You feel me? It's crazy, man. Like. Women nowadays, too, just, you know what I'm saying, judge a book by its cover, you feel me? It's work, and if I do something, it's going to be, like, a trip. It's going to be something planned, right? But I don't just be at the club, like, popping bottles. I don't be, like, I'm going to be like, oh, let's go take a train ride to Sedona. Let's do something like that. Let's go <laughs> float the river, something like that. But as far as the club, you can go by yourself, come back, you know what I'm saying? Go have all that attention. Just Plus come back to me. the same hairstyle. Yeah, that's right. You want to fill up? You want to get your balloon back? No, it's okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Let's go over here. You want to fill up with your balloon back? She's like, nah, I'm good. <laughs> you feel me? Yeah, baby. see this, but your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm 31. I popped my balloon because you are very attractive. But this sounds very weird. And don't judge. Because you're giving it oh, already. Judgment. I like my man a little, a little, like a splash of ugly. I think you're like a really pretty boy, which is good. She says she like her man a little bit of splash ugly. What the? 
<laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> you feel me? She like her man a little splash ugly. Just put a little splash of ugly on your face. <laughs> you feel me? Like she said, you put a little splash ugly on your face. You feel me, baby? Like. <laughs> Hey, hey, that's funny, man, for real. But it's just not my type. That's okay. it. That's a compliment, though. Like, you look really good, but I just, I like my man a little more grungy, maybe. Grungy. You look very polished. Okay. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But and don't take it bad at all. You look good. Okay. That's okay. crazy, though. So is she someone that's your type? Um, no. Okay. Why not? Just because you don't look like you work out. To be honest, that's that's I forgot to say it, but that is one of my deal breakers. Um, I want somebody who oh, she might pop up. She might pop along. I used to be a personal so trainer, so that's big for me. Like, even if you're not in the oh, gym, I need you eating right or something, or you I'm know what I mean. And I feel me. like that's not we don't we're not on the same frequency with that. Totally fine, but um, I work out five times a week and I'm vegan. But I get it. You oh. looking for a certain type? See, I guess you do work out five times a week. Another one. He assumed that she don't work out because she don't like she work out. That's crazy. But she do work out. She work out five times a week and she's a vegan. You feel me? Do not judge a book by its cover. You feel me? Don't do that. (laughs) It's crazy. Okay. All right. All right. (laughs) We both looking for something. Well, if we going off first impressions and for all intents and purposes of the show, that's what what I would see, right? Okay. So. Thank you. Let's go on over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. I'm Mercedes. I'm 27. And I only popped because I have a history with people with dreads and it's just PTSD. Dang. So. (laughs) It must have been real bad for you to take them all out. Yes. Okay. Yep. (laughs) Well, then. I'm a casualty <laughs> award. Damn. All right. So, Jay, is she someone that's your type? No. no. Okay. And why not? Why? I just don't like those boots. <laughs> I, that's <laughs> <not> my... <laughs> she not his, she not his type because she don't like his boots. I mean, he don't like, his, he don't like her boots. <laughs> Out of all things, I'm like, yo, you ain't my type because... She won't like your boo. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Things is the boots, but I just don't. That's just something about them. That's fine. Yeah. But everything else is cool, though. Everything else is cool. <laughs> <Solid. laughs> okay. So what's wrong with the boots? I don't know, man. It's just something about, like, I just, I, I have no reason. I literally have no reason. No I just reason. don't like them. It's just not my preference. Like, I can't give you a solid reason. I just don't like them. Okay, no problem. Thank you. Let's go here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Uh, my name is Shannon, 27. And, um, well, after listening, I popped. Uh, there's a couple of reasons. I would say, I mean, the, the whole lash thing. I do my makeup consistently. Like, I love doing my makeup. I have a good time doing it. So that's probably going to be a problem for you. I got big lashes. Um, also, as well, I'm a seasonal gym member. So I go when, when I need to go. Okay. Not not much of because I I have to go. It's right. like oh I got a wedding or Halloween's coming up. I need to look right. So probably won't fit for you. So that's all. Okay. So Jay, is she your type? Nah, she too tall. She too tall for me. I told you before. Twenty twenty four. Five four and under. Five four. Under twenty four. Five four under twenty. You know twenty twenty four under five four. Okay. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Oh, okay. We, well, I was passing her. We got I, I like her too. She's over very, here. Your name and age. She's very pretty right here, I swear. I'm thinking of Tyra. I, I know I was children the last one. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of Tyra or something. Tyra 31. Yep, Honestly, Tyra. you're attractive, but you're just not my type. I wanted to hear you out to see if like maybe the vibe was there, but I just don't feel like we are the same and compatible and multiple ways okay including like the gym she mentioned 4 a.m i like to sleep in i don't eat healthy i like pizza and i like cereal and i, I do that to new oat milk but other than that you know I, I i do all of that but i do it you know i i do it in moderation yeah no. so, and i don't push my my thoughts on you 
Oh, you yeah. all the time? Yeah. Okay. I, yeah, got well, it. Probably... I, I got the genetics, so I just, it is what it is. That's probably, I get it. Yeah. I'll be mad at y'all because mm -hmm. I'll be having a workout. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. All right, so Jay, is she someone that's your type? Mm. Nah, cause she don't work out. For me, for me, the intrinsic value is more like I don't, I don't really care too much about. It's a lifestyle. So like, if I'm always in the house with you, I'm gonna pick up your habits. You're gonna pick up my habits. Okay. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> oh, okay. I just have a question. Um, cause it seems like you're very adamant on the gym. Right. I feel like men should lead, and I feel like if you have the ability to. Um, motivate your woman to get in a gym and make a difference in her lifestyle to be a little bit more healthier to be more confident in that so I wanted to know like careful, baby. is it just like it's like a hard I need you in the gym for a am too or are you willing or are you able to teach someone a different type of lifestyle as a man I'm willing to teach you a different type of lifestyle but I used to be a personal trainer so I started my own business in 2013 and I actually lost my passion because of that it was hard for me to motivate people um, so the biggest thing I would say is um, if you're if you're willing to do it on your own, I can guide you, but I don't want to be your crutch because what happens if I get hurt? What happens if I die? God forbid. What happens if um, I can't be there for a month or whatever it is and now you just fall off, right? I want it to be more of a lifestyle for yourself because I want you to better yourself because in the black community, we have a lot of health issues and it's directly related to being inactive and food, right? So all my uncles, I had 13 uncles and aunts, heart disease, they died from heart attacks. My mom, like, it just runs in our family. I'm like, mama, I ain't got none of that shit. Nobody running our family. So I need you to be able to hold that down, right? So, so for me, I can guide you, but as far as like, being there with you, I don't want to do that because I've been a personal trainer and that's what burned me out. So that's one. But mm -hmm. also two, if we doing this together, I want you to be able to stand on your own. I want you to be I able feel to. It. I'm, I'm not trying to have you lean on me and depend on me. I want you to be able to teach your friends, teach your family, um, and not look to me to be that that staple. You know what okay. I'm saying? Interesting. Okay, yeah. thank you. Thank You're welcome. You. Yeah, he pretty much want a woman to be motivated to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, so regardless of what he doing, you know what I'm saying. He really want he really want her to be like willing to do it on her own, and not have her, him in her ear doing it. You know what I'm saying? Because if you be motivated, you gonna be motivated to do it. You feel me? Like you don't need nobody in your ear to tell you, oh come on, let's go, let's do this. You should be wanting to do it. You know what I'm saying? Like so, I do we get what we saying? You know what I'm saying? He is right about black people. We have heart diseases, all type of stuff, health problems. You know why? Because we never work out. That's the reason why we don't work out. You know what I'm saying? So I understand. He want to have a healthy relationship. He want both parties to be healthy. You know what I'm saying? His woman, his wife, and himself. He want both of them to, to be healthy and stay healthy. You know what I'm saying? Life is not promised. Like he said, he could die tomorrow. But he still won't. If he die tomorrow, he don't want her to fall off. He want her to keep uplift and be that person. You know what I'm saying? That work out. And keep herself right. So I do get what he's saying, though, for sure. For real, for real. You feel me? Mm. <laughs> all right, let's get it. All right. Well, Jay, that is all of the balloons popped, unfortunately. But we do thank you for coming on. Let's go ahead and give it up for him, ladies. I'll take the mic. Thank you. All right. My bad, y'all. Skip your feet. All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? I'm Demetrius. Demetrius, how old are you? I'm 35. And what do you do? So I own a fitness apparel line called Imperial Fitness, and I'm an online coach and a wellness coach. Oh, nice. Uh, what oh. are some things I can do for fun? Uh, so for fun, I like to go to new restaurants, um, try new foods. Um, I love to travel. Hawaii is my uh, favorite vacation spot. And watch movies, you know, things like that. Go to the gym. Nice. And uh, what are some things you look for in a woman? Um, for me, definitely confidence. I love a confident woman. Um, I think confident. Someone who's, you know, has self-compassion and positive. Mm -hmm. And just really overall, a woman that has morals and she carries herself well. Okay. Now, what are some of your deal breakers? Deal breakers, I would definitely have to say 
like I said before, confidence and someone who doesn't, um, I have to say, value their health. You know, I'm real big in the gym. I'm not saying my lady has to be, but, you know, at least make it a priority. Like, I might say, you know. Oh, so with another person that, let's see how this one go. You feel me? The last one, you know what I'm I saying? Can't. He wanted somebody to be in the gym or work out. But I with this one, he said not a priority, but he wants them to work out. So we're going to see if he leave out with a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like the other one didn't, didn't, didn't do as good like that. You know, they would call him a pretty boy. They were saying that they want to splash a little ugly on his face. <laughs> oh, you feel me? Like, it's little stuff. You feel me? One of them already knew him already. <laughs> yeah, man. That's crazy. Babe, hey, come, come, come to the gym with me. You know, let's get this workout in. You know, we enjoy the day. You know, things like that. Okay. All right. So we have no pop balloons. Doing no pop balloons. So you're okay. doing very well. Yeah. So what that means okay. is I'm going to go ahead and switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. No pop balloons, though. There so you starting go. Off. And I am going to have you pop three balloons. Three balloons? Three balloons. Based off of what you're seeing, go ahead and pop those three. Okay. Uh... Okay, two more. Yeah, and one more. Oh, yeah. And her? Okay, let's start down there since you're already there. Pop two, one of two most beautiful ones there pretty much. Dang, that's crazy. I'm going to see why he popped them for. I'm going to see why. Hey, 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 baby. No, no, no. Let's start with the first balloon. Your name and age. Hi, I'm Mercedes. I'm 27. Oh, I forgot you popped her. Yeah, she's not all that anyway. But the other, the other two, you popped like that. And Mercedes, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, Because he said he's really big in health and the gym. And... Okay, really big on health. Just like the last one. Oh, but hold on. He popped her first, though. Let me see. Hold on. It's on my, so. And so why did we end up popping hers? Um, Honestly... I mean, she's a beautiful female. Um, I just didn't really see, like, a physical connection with her. Um, that's it, really. I don't get it. She says she's a beautiful female, but he don't see no physical connection with her. Did he mean mentally? Because how is she beautiful, but there's no physical connection? <laughs> like, what the hell? Like, I don't care. If I think a woman is beautiful, what physical, unless he probably... Like some thicker, she probably too skinny for him. I don't know. Because she said, I don't know. <laughs> you feel me? You want to see? Damn. Understandable. Okay. <laughs> and then we did pop over here as well. Your name and age, Tyra31. Okay. And Tyra, why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was just listening. Okay. So he's not your type? No. Oh. I was just listening. So what makes. Damn. She, was, she had a pop. She had a. Balloon unpop just to listen. Like, fuck it. Let me just listen. <laughs> yeah, you feel me? Like, let me just listen. You feel me? Like, that's crazy. He's not her type. So, if he's not her type, she should have just popped it a long time ago. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I guess they both did each other a favor. You know what I'm saying? He popped up alone and he's not her type anyway. So, hey, it is what it is. She'll pop it sooner or later. Well, what else can I, baby? Not your type. Um, I just, I'm not really physically attracted to you. I'm, um, I don't know. It's like the mustache part. I just, I'm not feeling it. Like, uh, okay. okay. I like it. I like mustaches and stuff. I just right. don't like yours. So. Okay. All right. She says she like mustaches and stuff, but she don't like his. Dang. Sure. That's crazy. Nothing against you. So why did we end up popping her balloon? Um, once again, just really no, um, physical attraction. I'm real big on eye contact. I didn't really see no eye contact from her, so that was really it. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And then we popped one more up here. Your name and age, and why did you have your balloon unpopped? Brittany, I'm 28, and I just wanted to hear him out, to be honest. Um, we had a lot of stuff in common, a lot of stuff he was saying. Okay. Hawaii is one of my favorite places, too, to go. So, yeah. Another pop balloon? Another pop balloon? I know. Why did we end up popping hers? Um, I popped her, like I said before, um, eye contact. Um, she's definitely attractive. I was looking at you. I was looking, at, looking you. at you. Yeah. I, I mean, was looking at you. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see it, so. 
Okay, yeah. that's fine. That's okay. really it right there. All right. Yeah. And then we did get a pop down here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh, 27. You stand like a baddie. I you stand, stand like a baddie? Yes. And I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> She oh. thought you sound like a baddie. Yo, stand like, yo, what's up? How you doing? <laughs> hey, you feel me like a stand, Kadai? <laughs> yeah, baby. That's crazy. That's crazy. You feel me? Guys, so you do like, like a little girl, I did, a little woman. I dated a guy like briefly, and I tried to give him the benefit of the doubt, but I saw like sass. And I tried to like, oh, like a little, a little maybe. Feminine. And I was wrong. He was really sassy, so. So this is how you stand? Yes. Okay. Look. Okay, that's cool. <laughs> so that's the only thing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That's cool. <laughs> so now is she someone that's your type? Um, I would definitely say yeah. Thank she's definitely you. my type. She's attractive. Wow. I like your outfit. I like the shoes. Wow. So. Thank yeah. you. Thank Bye. you. <laughs> Okay, so we do have four balloons left unpopped. Let's go ahead and ask the remaining ladies a question. Okay, ladies, um, my question is, do you believe in casual dating, or do you feel like dating should always be intentional? All right, let's start here with your name and age and the answer to this question. I'm Angelique. I'm 32. Ooh, um, honestly, I think it depends on seasons. Um, I think... Where I am in life now, it's intentional. However, comma, if you would have asked me like a year ago, even six months ago, I would have been like, absolutely not. I'm just meeting people, getting right, my right. feet wet, just doing a thing to do a thing because I like doing that thing, which okay. is dating. I mean, yeah. But so both is my answer, I guess. Once everything's okay, okay. perfectly like, oh, organized, oh, I'll start working dating? on my thesis. Okay. I'll do the thing. okay. Okay. I like that. <laughs> Let's go over here. Your name and age and the answer to this question. Yes, I'm Keela. I'm 26. Um, definitely intentional. I don't like to waste my time. Um, and I don't like to waste other people's time. So, um, intentional for sure. Okay. okay. Here, your name and age and the answer to this question. Hi, I'm Derek. I'm 31. At this point in my life, I am dating with intention. Um, like they said, when it comes to casual dating, if you got time to play around, you're young, live your life, but... Mm-mm. Not right now. Okay. <laughs> and our last lady, name and age and answer this question. Shannon, 27. And casual dating, it's real and it exists. Um, for me right now, no. I think that people who date with intention move differently than people who don't. So, I mean, if it doesn't work out, that's completely fine, too. But at least we both knew where, where we were coming from at the end of the day. Right, right. Okay. I respect that. Okay. So it is time to pop a balloon. So he might pop the last one. The way he the way he said it, you know what I'm saying. Might pop the last one the way she said it. You know everything. Feel me. Moon. We've got four ladies left. Let's go ahead and pop one of theirs. Just one. Just okay. one. Okay. Go ahead and pop that one. Well, pop that. Oh, okay. All right. Now you jump in. <laughs> All right, so why did we end up popping hers? Um, I just really like the other answers better, really. Um, like I said, you're a beautiful, beautiful female. Um, I love your outfit. Definitely put it together. Thank you. No problem. So why did you have your balloon unpopped for him? Yeah, he's clean. I like a clean man. So definitely wanted to hear you out more, get a little more information from you. Appreciate it. Yeah, thank you. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and ask him another question. What do you feel is the most important quality in a relationship? Okay, let's we'll start over here. Are you ready? <laughs> um, I do want to say my name again. Angelique K, 32. The most important in a relationship might be understanding. Understanding, understanding. Because I think with understanding comes like openness as well. Like right. you can, being able to see where someone else is coming from is important. And with understanding people. I like that answer. You know what I'm saying? It's always good to be understanding, you feel me? Like, for real, for real, it's good to understand. Like, I do love the answer, though. For sure, for sure. Nah, baby, nah. You just leave that alone, okay? Usually extend grace, so I'm going to say understanding because everything else trickles down. Okay. Trickles. <laughs> All right. Answer to this question. Um, 
sorry, the most important trait in a relationship. The most important quality. Quality, yes. I would say effective communication. I feel like as long as both parties are on the same accord, you can pretty much work through most things. Okay. Okay. And our last lady, Andrew just questioned. I would say, um, just like she actually said down there, but uh, communication and understanding hand in hand. Personally, in my relationship, I would say, just because I know my own flaws and the way that I communicate sometimes can go 10 different ways. But as long as my partner is willing to understand me, you know, figure things out, and I'm like, okay, we got it. As long as, like, you're not doing just, like, you know, shoot me off, then that's good. I like that. Okay. Okay. All right. You know what time it is. It is time to pop a balloon. How many? Just one? Just one. Mm -hmm. Just one balloon. All right. (laughs) So why did you have your balloon unpopped? You seemed really nice. Like, everything you were saying seemed good. You seemed like you're, um... Sorry, super nervous. Um, outgoing, and I like that. I need somebody outgoing, adventurous, like you were saying. So I'm just like, yeah, let's see what you got to say. The way to end up popping her. Um, she's an attractive female. Um, I just feel like I got more from the other answers, really. That's it. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, so our two remaining ladies, any questions? Oh, sh- let's go over here. Do you have any children? No, no kids. Okay. Okay. Do you have any kids? No, I don't. Okay. Oh, okay. Damn. We both don't have kids. Okay. I forgot how old he said he was, too. <laughs> he said he was... I forgot how old he said he was. Damn. Where are you from? I'm from North Carolina. Okay. I live in Los Angeles. How do you feel about that? Live in LA. That's not a problem. I came out here, so traveling is definitely not a problem. Okay. Period. <laughs> Thank you. Damn. Okay. She live in LA, though. I feel like I feel like... You like, shoot, I'm in North Carolina, but you I travel down here. You feel me? So travel not a problem. I feel him. Find this love, he'll travel anywhere for you, girl. You feel? Yeah. You are Let's go down here. Any questions? Sure. Um, we'll have a couple, let's see. Um, no, your religious background, like what do you practice? I'm a Christian. No, it's not. Okay. What does that mean to you? Um, oh, Christian to me means being good to people, um, always trying to do good. Um, I don't go to church, you know, like I should. Um, that's something I'm trying to work on. Um, hopefully I can meet somebody that can help me, you know, get more into it. But I'm definitely, you know, I do read my Bible and I pray every day. Mm, okay. Non-denominational Baptist Church of Christ. No. No to what? All three? Wait, I'm sorry. Repeat that. I said Baptist. Which denomination? Right. Oh, Baptist. 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 Yes. Okay. Good. Okay. <laughs> All right. So it is time to pop a balloon. Mm. Which one of these ladies are you gonna be popping? You just keep. Uh oh. Oh, she popped it. Okay. Why do we end up popping? Second time, girl. You made it to the end. You did it uh-huh. again. What's going on? Second time, she doing. Um. I think, you know, everyone is on their journey, right? Right, right. And I I think for me, since I am in my season of dating intentionally, that I would like a man who's a little stronger in that department because I know that we all fall short. Right, right. And at this moment, I would like someone that could just just a little bit pull me in a little bit. I'm not bad, but I'm not good. Right. You know what I mean? I'm not perfect. I'm not bad. I just want somebody a little stronger than me in that in this season. Right. I'm saying it. You know? That's cool. Yeah. That's it. But you look great. I appreciate yeah. it. I appreciate it. You yeah. do too. Come on, hair. <laughs> you do too. All right. Well, Derrica, let me have you come on up here. I'll have you stand on this side of me. I'll have you stand over here. Is, Any is final questions match? between the two of you? <laughs> Not at the moment. No, I'm good. Oh. I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. Well, then, is it going to be a yes for you for him? Yeah. Uh, is it a yes for you for her? Yes, it is. We got a match. Got a match. A field. <laughs> I'll take this mic and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them. I like that match though. You know what I'm saying? He'll fly to LA for it. Feel me? Hey, what you doing, girl? My bad, y'all. And feel me? All right. Let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. 
Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Appreciate you and your husband for being here. <laughs> it was Robert. Okay, was Robert, how old are you? 28. And what do you do? I'm a stock option trader. Okay, very cool. Um, what are some things you like to do for fun? I like to go on nature trips. I like to check out botanical gardens, hike, try new foods. Okay. Video edit, photo edit. That's about it. Nice. Now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Someone that's at peace with themselves. Mm -hmm. Um, someone that's honest with themselves as well. Someone that's dedicated in what they do, that's passionate. Like we, like, like loving, we got on, looking, looking for Affectionate, not affectionate, it can't happen. Okay. So, uh, that's, that sounds like it's one of your deal breakers. What are some other deal breakers? Uh, <laughs> someone that's not at peace with themselves. Okay. Someone that's, can't decide what they want to do, can't, don't know what they want. Someone... It's a lot, but I could just keep going. I'm going to leave oh, it no, out no. there. That's good. <laughs> All right. So we did get a pop. Oh, two pop balloons. Let's go ahead and head on over there and see why they ended up popping. All right. Your name and age. Brittany, I'm 28. And Brittany, why did you end up popping your balloon? I think it was the physical attraction. It's not really attracted. And then the outfit is just a little too casual for me for this type of event. Everybody's kind of like dressed up. You just like look real casual. But that was it. Oh, yeah. It, it looked a little casual. For sure. Sometimes, nothing wrong with casual sometimes, though. I understand, though. He wants to look all dressed up nice. You feel me? I understand. But he wants to just be one of the casual. So, you know. I don't see nothing wrong with the outfit, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't see nothing wrong with it, really. Smile, though. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Now, is Brittany someone that's your type? She look good. Thank you. She look good. All right. Cool. Thank you. And we got one more down over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh, 27. Um, you're gorgeous. Um, but you're gorgeous. I don't like the outfit. I mean, it's just... I like minimalistic, as you can see me. And you're giving very rock star. So it's like kind of different. And I don't know how to handle it in the long run. Okay. Yeah. Right. Now, Shiloh, someone that's your type. Yeah, nice smile, white teeth. Oh, man, she look good. I like her. <laughs> All right, perfect. Thank you. Okay, so we do still have five balloons left on pot. So, um, hmm. Okay, I'm going to switch it on over to you. So let me hand you a pick. Oh, man. There you go. And I am going to have you pop... One balloon. Based off of what you're seeing, whoever's no. not really your usual type, whatever it is, go ahead and pop one balloon. <sighs> okay, nice let's start here. Oh. Your name and age and why you had your balloon unpopped. Oh, I'm Keela, I'm 26. Um, I really just had a question. I wanted to know if you wore straight bags. Not really my thing. Um, so I did wanted to give you some time to like speak a little bit more so then I can kind of ask you more questions. Okay. Um, but initially, you know, you're well put together. But, like, take care of yourself. But, yeah. Okay. All right. So why do we end up popping her balloon? Because the, the remaining contestants that got their balloons is, balloons is they on point. Okay. Not saying that she's not on point. Mm -hmm. Get a type. Yeah. Preference. I mean, you, you, you straight. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank yes. you. Okay, next round, let's go ahead and ask these ladies a question. What are you, what's, name one deal breaker, and then what would you do if your partner commit that one deal breaker? Hmm. Okay, let's start down there and work our way back. All right, your name and age, and what's your deal breaker, and what would you do if, you know, your partner were to break that? deal breaker I guess <laughs> all right Shannon 27 and um I would say accessibility to my to my man and if they were committing that then yeah they're cooked they just cook. over <laughs> yeah it's good like I'm good okay okay, okay 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 thank you your name and age and the answer to his question I'm Mercedes I'm 27 and the deal breaker is cheating you don't want oh I like that she said deal breaker is cheating so if you cheat it's over with. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> make no sense. I make a lot of sense. <laughs> I think you look like for real. Not playing. Like, you know, it don't make sense, huh? Yeah. If you're not happy over here, I'm good. Facts. Understandable. Okay. Name and age and answer this question. Tyra, 31. And I have a lot of non-negotiables. Mm. I do a lot of 80-20 rule, but I would say communication. If you don't have communication and it's not open, I can't come to you, it's a deal breaker for That's me. Yeah. Yes. Communication is key. 
I like that. Communication is key. You feel me? A partner, like both partners should be able to, to communicate with each other. You feel me? Everything. So I do love that though. Good answer. Name and age and answer to this question. Angelique, 32. Um, not much, chilling. Um, I think what you do in the in the event that we're having a disagreement, like if you go ghost and you don't say anything, like I understand people need their space, but if you just don't say anything at all, then I'll feel abandoned. And as someone who has gone through therapy and worked through abandonment issues, I know how it feels and I hate that feeling. And people, you know, will tell you that being ignored hurts just as much as like physical pain. That if you do true. your research. So, um, yeah, that would be it for me. That would be a deal breaker. So you got to go right then and there. So no one gets to treat me like that or my future children in the event I have. Guys, I'm about to cash a check for $180,000 and get my entire car loan paid. $180,000? It's a lot of money. <laughs> so it is time to pop one balloon. Can you ask another question? Next round. Oh, man. <laughs> you know how this goes. <laughs> I do, I do. It's time to get lucky. Uh, <laughs> get you right here. <laughs> all right so why did you have your balloon unpop um personally i like the outfit i thought it was cute so i like what you had to say it's good yeah got it See, so she, she, she like his outfit the other ones over there a couple of them didn't like his outfit you know what i'm saying that what i'm saying everybody got a preference you feel me everybody got you know up and hers she didn't say nothing bad okay. <clears throat> the lineup is just or your type. Yeah. Okay. But she's she good. I like I like her. Nails done. Perfect. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. okay, perfect. Thank there you. you. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and ask another question. When did you got when was your last relationship? And are you healed from it? Okay, I like that. I like that question. All right. When was your like last relationship and are you healed from it? Um, we ended February 2023, and there was nothing to heal from. I mean, it was a amicable breakup. We were we're we're still cool to this day. It is what it is. There was nothing to heal from. How long was it? Ten months. Okay. Long distance. Mm -hmm. Different country. Country. Yeah, country. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Oh Different country. That's it, right? <laughs> Over here. That's why the last. How you gonna be in a relationship with somebody in a different country? <laughs> That's why it didn't last. You feel me? A different country? Like, man, I would think like different state, like, you know what I'm saying? But damn, different country? Like, it ain't gonna last like that, you feel me? All right, so when was your last relationship? And what was the other part? Did you heal from it? Yes, I've healed from my last relationship. It was a year and a half ago. We were together for four years. Okay, and now Tyra, we did have you on a previous episode. You actually did end up matching. What happened? Um, me and Christian didn't work out. We went on one date and really didn't happen. Yeah. Okay. And so she was on the show before. You know what I'm saying? She matched with somebody, but it didn't work out. So she's trying again. You feel me? So let's see what this guy think about that. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, he might be like, well, he's different from me. I'm the one. <laughs> you feel me? We're going to see, though, for sure. We're here now. Yes. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Let's go to our next lady here. Your, um, what was it? I keep forgetting this question. Last relationship, last relationship. And are you healed from it? Um, I'm definitely healed from it. And it's been over four years. So. It's been a minute. A minute, okay. How long was it? Over two years, a little over two years. Okay. When was your last relationship? Mm. About four years ago. Are you healed? I'm healed. Okay. That's why I'm here. <laughs> About moving forward. Me, me, okay. me, me. Okay. All right, so, so it is forth. time to pop right here a balloon. Just one. Whose balloon are we popping? And. Tonight, sit down. All right, so why did we have our balloon Let's on top? Um, very handsome, very well-rounded. I like your facial structure. Um, 
I don't know. Um, sounded good, so kept it. Um, yeah, yeah, so she liked him, you know what I'm saying? Now, let's see what he tell her. Either because she came back on a show, but she couldn't find love and all that, you know what I'm saying? Like, she came back on a show or whatever, and they didn't work out or whatever, or you know what I'm saying? So that's the reason why, or it was something else. You feel me? We gonna see. Got it. And why did we end up popping hers? Um, she was here already. Oh, not to discredit. See, she was here already. <laughs> you feel me? Like she was here already. I had a feeling it gonna happen. I had a feeling. You feel me? Like I'm crazy. From that, but the other two last two contestants, uh, 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 I'm trying to start a new. <laughs> <laughs> all right. <Sorry. laughs> all right. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Well, you know, she's she back. Do, for she love. Do love. She's back she for love. love. <laughs> the thing right. about it, though, she told on her, though. I don't think he knew that she, she came back. <laughs> she didn't, he didn't even, like, that's crazy. He said, Well, I know you was here already before. Like, that's crazy. She told on her. <laughs> oh, man. She was like, Darn it. <laughs> that's crazy. Two remaining ladies, any questions? Okay, we got one down there. All right, take it away. Um, where do you reside at? Queens, New York. Pop it, pop it. Oh. I can't do long distance. Okay. Where do you live at? I live here in the valley. Mm. Okay. Understandable. Okay. You are very attractive, though. Appreciate it. So why can't, what's wrong with long distance? I'm a very physical person. I want to feel my man every day. That so. part, that part. <laughs> okay. Yeah, cool. So, apart from that, you did have your balloon unpopped for him. Why so? Um, I like his demeanor. Also very handsome, so. And now, is she someone that's your type? Of course. She good. She's straight. <laughs> pretty. Nice smile. Thank you. Everything about her good. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right. So, why did we end up popping? You know, it was the age. I'm, I'm 32, 28. Is that what I remember? So, hold on. So, she waited once again that late to talk about his age. She been knew how old he was when he first. That's crazy. How can she talk about the age now? <laughs> like, come on. You feel me? Like, man, I swear, man, these people on here is crazy, man. Like, she waited all the way to the last minute to pop her balloon. Because of his age, out of all things. She knew his age already. <laughs> That's crazy, man. I think she popped him, came out and popped it. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy, man. It's crazy. She should have assisted on the tower girl. Tower part of it would have been his match. That's crazy, man, for real. Yeah, and when you first said it, I thought about popping, but I was like, no, nah, girl, don't block blessings. Just keep on listening. But it just kept popping up in my head, and I have Don't block blessings, but keep on listening. They keep popping up in your head. Man, she don't know what she want. <laughs> she don't know what she want. She's 32 years old. Come on, man. 32 years old, 38? ain't that bad, bro. Come on, man. I ain't that bad. Like, for real. It'd be different if like, 50 or something, man. She only 38, my nigga. Like, 38, bro. Like, come on, bro. It's crazy listen to my gut okay she's never gonna lead me astray so i'm sorry that that was it but yeah very put together very calm we love it Appreciate we love it you. okay we're in queens jamaica van week area Rose there. Out there. Oh, okay cool that was it <laughs> all right well that is all of the balloons popped unfortunately but we do thank you so much for coming on let's go ahead and give it up for them ladies i'll take the mic <laughs> thank you crazy <laughs> Do you want to see how much money you're eligible for? My if bad, you want a car again. crash within and the last big. two years, that was an All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello, welcome in. What's your name? Dre. Dre, how old are you? I'm 29. And what do you do? Yeah. I'm a lead ramp agent for the airport okay. aviation department. Nice. Uh, what are some things I could do for fun? Uh, for fun, I like to, you know, play video games. I like to, you know, it's one my pop, but then I like video games, things like that. Okay. <laughs> now, what are some things you look for in a woman? Uh, something I look for in a woman is more like communication. Uh, okay. Just being open to try new things. Uh, being like, being like a real, like being on honesty and loyalty and things like that. So. Okay. Now, what are some deal breakers? 
Deal breakers, uh, probably like no kids because I don't have kids yet. Um, no kids? The boy got kids. Uh, like no smoking. I don't really smoke or nothing like that. Just like not partying too much. Yeah, she gonna, she I don't mind partying and stuff like that. Everybody got to have a good time. Yeah. Believing, you well, know, I living life. You know, YOLO. So, <laughs> yeah. YOLO. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So we don't have any pop balloons. Oh, so pop I'm going to switch okay. it on over to you. Let me hand you this pig. Okay. Here you go. And I am going to have you pop two balloons based off of whoever's not really your type, whatever it is. Go ahead and pop those two. Walk down. Or... Yeah, okay. you take a look. I know there's a lot of them there. <laughs> okay, and one more. Okay, let's start over here with your name and age. I'm Keela, I'm 26. And Keela, why did you have your balloon unpopped? Looks good. I wanted to hear more. Yeah. So now why did we end up popping hers? You made me. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but nah, why? Was, like, uh, she looks beautiful. Uh -huh. Nothing against her. You just made me pop too. I just feel like she's probably... Okay. Like, it was nothing. So out of all these ladies, you picked two, but you don't know why. <laughs> no, nah, I picked... Nah, I didn't have nothing against her. <laughs> Okay, thank you. Yeah, uh, she's pretty. I love her smile. Yes, so, thank you. I'm against her. Okay, yeah. All right, let's go over here. Your name and age and why you had your balloon unpopped. Tyra, 31. I was just letting him speak. He's not my typical type. Okay. Got it. All right, we uh, need a, we need a real response here, okay? <laughs> uh, I'm not too much into light skin like that, like, you know, but I didn't know she was kind of like me. They even ain't into light skin like that. That's crazy. Light skin's so beautiful. <laughs> you feel me? I love light skin. It's me. Or something, but that's it. There was nothing else about that. Oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Let's head on back. Okay, so we do have five ladies left. Go ahead and ask them a question. Um, what do y'all do for work? Okay. Um, let's start off with all right. Name and age and what do you do for work? My name is Brittany. I'm 28. I work for American Airlines as a reservation. Okay. American Airlines. Cool little job. Good job. All right. Your name and age and what do you do? Hi, I'm Angelique. I'm 32 and I'm a flight attendant for the largest airline. Flight attendant? Another airline. <laughs> Even though my accent was to... Uh... What, you mind if I... What did you say? You said the largest one? Yeah. Okay. American no, we good. Airlines. We good. We good. Yeah. We good. <laughs> Over here, your name and age, and what do you do? Shiloh27. I am a general manager for a flooring company, and I also run a social media business on the side. <laughs> name and age, and what do you do? Hi, I'm Mercedes. I'm 27, and I work in logistics and dispatch. Your name and age, and what do you do? Shannon, 27, and I am brand ambassador, bartender, and what was I saying earlier? Supervisor, sorry. And I also substitute teach on the side. So there's a lot going on. A lot to say. <laughs> I like that. All right. So it is time to pop a balloon. Pop one? Yes, sir. Actually, no, pop two. Pop two? Yeah, five is a lot. <laughs> uh, I got you. Uh. Okay. One more. <laughs> All right, let's head down over here. Let's start with you first. So why did you have your balloon unpopped? I was going to pop it because you're necessarily not my type, but I did just listen to like what you had to say. I didn't want to like just rule you out right away because that's not how I usually go for men anyway. So it is what it is. So it makes them not really your usual type? Um, I would say the outfit. It's not really what, if I were somewhere, I wouldn't necessarily approach him. That's all. Yeah. Okay, got it. <laughs> All right, and now, why did you end up popping hers? Um, it was really just a bartender thing. Like, I'm trying to stay away from the club as much as possible. I work six days a week, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know. It's not a mini like, golf place. It's um, not a real bar like that. Okay, okay. Yeah. Okay. And that was the only thing. But other than that, I liked uh, her career choice, you know, substitute teaching and all that. You know, I feel like she got a lot of stuff going on, so very respectable of that. You know, so. All right, thank you. Yeah. Uh, only a few can become spirit born. With or without fear. All right. Your, um, so why did you have your balloon unpopped? Um, same thing. 
just want to hear him out and it do look like he works out so got it and what did we end up popping hers um honestly it, i didn't really have nothing against it. i think it was really her name mercedes i don't really oh. like mercedes ah. okay. but she's very pretty you know so <laughs> but outside you. of that it wasn't nothing i like everything she said okay all right thank you mercedes <laughs> all right we got a pop balloon over here why did we end up popping because I want my push present to be a GLE. So I like Mercedes and my husband. My I want that. And you don't like it. So I don't know. And you judging her by her name. So I don't know. I don't like that. Yeah. That's crazy. She's pretty. She, her name was Mercedes. Just, <laughs> I get it. That's I a fancy it. car. So. And I want a Mercedes. So like, how would you feel if I'm like a year from now? I'm like, I want to trade my Kia for a Mercedes. Like, you're gonna be like, I don't like Mercedes, and I don't want to hear it. Uh, it would. Come, that would happen. Yeah, and I wouldn't want to. I'm gonna lie. I love her accent. I'm not gonna lie. But dark skin girl, like she's she's she, she gorgeous. Like you know what I'm saying. I love her accent and stuff. You know what I'm saying. It's just very very beautiful. Hey 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 hey, what you doing, girl? I don't. Yeah. Did you? You welcome, baby. Because now I feel like you're trying to like yeah. deter me from my decision, and I don't like that. I respect the honesty, you know. But so is Shiloh someone that's your type? Uh, yeah, she definitely pretty. You know, I like dark skin girls too. So thank you. you know, but she's sticking up for the next person. That kind of just threw me off a little bit. I mean, I'm a girls' girls. You can't help it. I respect it. Definitely yes. respect it. Thank you. Okay, so we have two ladies left. Let's ask them another question. Um, so it got, so they both was into the uh, airport department like mm -hmm. me, so I could kind of say like, what brought y'all to the airport field? Mm. Or is it just something random? Okay. It's right here. Well, I always wanted to travel the world, so I became in the airline industry as a flight attendant first, and that was about four or five years ago, because I really wanted to travel the world, just connect with different people, different backgrounds, and just go wherever get the benefits all right no don't forget he says he's 29 don't want you to hang on and then you pop last minute again all right so okay <laughs> go ahead answer his question <laughs> um uh, it was honestly my mom's idea i was leaving houston and didn't know what to do next you know and she was like why don't you apply to be a flight attendant and i'm like who would want to do that and Eight and a half years later, I'm still here because it goes with my lifestyle. I don't believe in living every day or the same day twice. And nine to fives just did not work for me. That's what I was leaving. So here I am doing what I can do. <laughs> Her. But, oh, you're Because okay. right. you were right. And I did think about it. It, it is the age. I hate the it. Age. I I'm sorry. Come on, man. Again? He's 29, bro. Only three years older. You only three years older. The other dude is 38, six years older. Who do you want, bro? Like, that is crazy. Like, man, like these, man, she's something else, man. She need to get up off this love stuff. She don't know what she wanted. The girl's something else, man. Like, how you gonna. That's crazy, man. She just said, I see why. I see why, you know what I'm saying? The host of the show. Said that to her, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. don't wait last minute again. You know, he's 29. Like, come on, bro. Like, come on. That's crazy, bro. Like, she shouldn't, for real. Like, it's a waste of time, bro. Like, for real, for real. Waste of time. But I thought about it while listening. And so how come you didn't pop when he first came out and said his age, 29? Because, like I, I said about the other guy, I don't want to block my blessing because of age. Um, I don't block my blessing because of age. But you just said it twice because of age. <laughs> what the? Come on, bro. Stop doing that. I don't want to block my blessing. Man, try to, you get block your blessings. Like, come on, bro. Like, I don't get it. You hear it? Come on, baby. I don't block my blessings. <laughs> but you're doing it. You feel me? Like, that's crazy. She's doing it. Because that's her same answer. It's because it's his age, bro. She wait. I think I know what she's doing. She's trying to show. She's trying to show that yeah, nigga. I can make. I can make all the way to the to the end. The, the, the niggas gonna want me, my nigga. I can make it to the end. The niggas gonna want me just to turn a nigga down because of his age, my nigga. That's crazy, bro. It's 
crazy. Had it not played back in my head while listening to you speak to other people, then I probably wouldn't have popped it. But because I know that it's sitting there, then that means it's time for me to pop. I, I, you got, I got to listen to my gut. You know, being a Christian, Holy Spirit is filling you. So that's what's guiding me. Lisa, that's it. How old no. was you again? If you I'm 32. Mind. So I'm sorry. <laughs> you, you enter a different threshold at 30. Everybody can say it. I'm sorry. And I just I just couldn't. I'm sorry. But you look great. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Favorite it. <laughs> my favorite thing. I'm sorry. But you look great. Well, shut up. You look great. <laughs> Every time, girl. Like, you look great. Hey, come on, Kana. What you doing? Hey, so, Brittany, any questions for him? I should have two questions. So, you mentioned video games. How long do you play video games? Is this, like, all day or every day? Uh, I play when I get off work, so, like, an hour. Tops. Okay. And my second question, am I your type? Like, if we was to match right now, are you going to regret picking me? I wouldn't regret picking you. I feel like, you know, like, you got to learn. I got to what? You got to get to learn and know somebody. You know, so I'm big on that. Like, introduction is everything, you know, so I'm big on introduction. Okay. okay. All right. Let me have a scoot on that way. Brittany, come on up here. Come on up. Okay. Well, All right. Any final though? questions? I do. Okay. You sure? You sure about me? Uh -oh. like, am I attractive to you? You are. You're very you sure? attractive. Yes. Okay. Because I just don't want to go through this again, again for the second time. I don't okay. want nobody to waste my time. So, you sure? Damn, this is a second time. Somebody waste her time? That's crazy, bro. Yeah, you're very attractive. Sure, Brittany, don't you worry. Okay. <laughs> very attractive. Okay. All right. Well, then my final question, is it a yes for you for him? It's a yes, yeah. Okay. <laughs> is it a yes for you for her? Yes. We got a match. <laughs> I'll take this mic, and you guys can go on up. Let's give it up for them, y'all. <laughs> She got a match, Phil. Question. All Would you build a website my bag, for a major brand with more than 200 million users? All right, let's go ahead and bring out our next single guy. Hello. <laughs> I came around the corner like that. What's your name? <laughs> my name's Tamarcus. And how old are you? I'm 37. And what uh, do you do? Damn, they all part of balloon. 37? Girl in a skirt? Pop it right now. He's too old for you, I guess. Always talking about age. Oh, you, your age. You either too old or you either too young. Man, come on, come on, bro. I'm a crane operator. Oh, okay, very nice. Yeah, and I also stream on Twitch. Oh, okay. okay. So, what are some things I can do for fun? I'm a. Uh, I like to work out. Uh, for fun. I'm a uh, outside guy. I like to go hiking. Okay, got that it. Type of stuff. Okay, so what are some things you look for in a woman? Communication. Uh, someone who can talk. Someone who uh, expresses themselves. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, pretty much. Okay. Communication. Got it. Now, what are some deal breakers? Deal breakers. Uh, a cigarette smoker. Cigarette smokers. Mm -hmm. I don't. I don't, can't do cigarette smoking. Okay. 420 is cool, but cigarette smoking, no. So, no. Okay. Got it. All right. So, we did get some pop balloons. Let's right. go on over there and see why they ended up popping. We can have your name and age. I'm Keela, I'm 26. And Keela, why did you pop your balloon? Just the age, you know, um, in the piercing too. I'm really not a fan of the, the. I don't know what it's, yeah, yeah, I'm just not a fan of it. Right. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> All right, and now is Keela someone that's your type? Uh, not off of physical attraction. Like, I feel like this right here is like a physical attraction thing right here, because mm -hmm. I really don't know what she's about yet, exactly. but physically, no. Okay, and why not? Uh, just not my, just not my type. <laughs> I feel like, the jeans might be showing a little too much, like, if we're looking for love type. you feel me? Okay. 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 All right. Let's go over here. Your name and age and why you ended up popping your balloon. Shiloh, 27. Hey. I pop oh. Oh. <laughs> and Shiloh, why did you end up popping your balloon? It's the hat. You look like Uncle Grandma <laughs> on the block. <laughs> and I wasn't feeling it. It's like, crazy, man. Like uncles, like uncle, on the block. Uncle on like the, the block. Uncle on the block. <laughs> She says it's the hat, man. You look like an uncle on the block. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go to the block, you right there with it. That's crazy, man. <laughs> oh, man. Uncle like, on the block. Trying to pick up the young thing. Right. Yeah, I wasn't feeling it. Right. Yeah. I feel it. <laughs> I feel it. I feel it. It was like, it was giving like my uncle, you know, like, ugh. Right, right, right. Yeah. It was just 
that, that, that was that's it. cool yeah. <laughs> i'm going to block no. i like that <laughs> all right Unc. so she's someone that's your type uh i would definitely approach yeah i would approach i would approach and we got one more pop balloon your name and age hi i'm mercedes i'm 27 and and mercedes why did you end up popping your balloon just the age yeah how old are you 27 27 and you're i'm 37 37 okay got it and now is she someone that's your type i probably wouldn't know no, no, no. Okay. no and why not physically attracted not physically attracted okay okay that's it <laughs> physically attracted. thank you <laughs> Let's head on back. So we do have three balloons left unpopped. Go ahead and ask these remaining ladies a question to see who's more of your match. Uh, let me hear. Okay. Let me hear something that you took from your past relationships to uh, further you know, for the for the future relationship. Something that was negative that in your past relationship. You know what I'm saying? Like toxic toxic traits. A toxic trait from your last relationship past relationships so what's a toxic trait they had in their, they past, had relationship? In their past relationship okay okay that was brought to your attention mm, oh those that the partner brought up to them right, that they right. have. oh i see okay let's start here <laughs> name and age and the toxic trait hi i'm angelique i'm 32 nice to meet you nice to meet you um <laughs> damn. okay uh i can be a little tough and I can show I, I like show a her. lot of tough love, unfortunately, and I can be a little more masculine. Than masculine, but man, she sent all this stuff just to pop her balloon, bro, at the last minute, bro. <laughs> she sent all this stuff just to pop her balloon, bro. He's thirty seven years old. The other the other dude you pop was thirty eight. Other dude you pop was twenty nine. They 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 both have gaps older than you. You know what I'm saying? So at the same time, they're not anything within your 32 year old range, 33, 34, whatever range. You're not gonna mess with them, bro. So it's like all this right here is is, is retarded to me. <laughs> you feel me? Like you need to get out this show. Most people would like, and I know where it stemmed from. Yeah, I went through therapy about it, but I didn't realize it was still showing up until he brought it up to me. And I think once he let me know that it's okay to put the wall down and not be that way, like therapy is one thing, but to practice what you're learning in therapy is something completely different. Right. And I think once he brought that up to me, I was able to just like exhale, let go, and I can um, rest in my feminine energy. It's actually right. very beautiful. Yeah. We say that line, but it's actually a real thing. So right, right, right. that's it for me. Okay. Let's go down over there. The cost of housing is out of control. It's making everything more expensive, and it's a big reason why every year... All right, your name and age, and what is a toxic trait that was brought up to you from your past partners? <laughs> Tyra, 31. Um, a toxic trait that I was told about would be <sighs> more so like thinking before I speak. Um, sometimes I just... <sighs> And it just comes right out. Um, and just knowing when to say things and, like, when to maybe wait or let your feelings catch up and then right. say it at a different time. Right. But I do have one request. I do apologize. Um, can you take off the hat? I can, yes. Okay, thank you. Yes, I appreciate yes, that. <laughs> appreciate that. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Wow. <laughs> to the know, like, man, how, how your hair look? You bald-headed or you got some, or you got, like, like, you know what I'm saying? Line up or something? Like, how you look with the hat off? <laughs> Bro, ski body. You know what I'm saying? So I feel it. What is underneath yes, your hat? No, you, yes, ma'am. I am bald. Nothing. Yes. <laughs> yes. Bald head. Absolutely nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Let's go on to our next lady. Your name and age, and what is a toxic trait you were told about from your past partners? Uh, my name is Shannon, 27. Um, I can answer your question, but I was, I'm going to pop. So, all right. Why do we end up popping? <laughs> she said, man, I, I'm not, I'm not even going to waste your time, man. I just want to pop it. I feel you. At least you're wasting your time like that girl over there in the black and white on because of age. You're like, come on, bro. I'm just the age. I think 37. Oh, I'm 27. Right. 10 was right at my limit, but I would want... Um, if he's going to be right at 37, I think there's a couple different characteristics I was looking for. So, Right. Like what? Um, not gaming and twitching. That was that was like, I mean, I like to game, right. but I'm also 27. But And I was like, if I 
wanted my 37 year old not to game as much as a big hobby of his but that's all otherwise you do damn so like gaming a dude that's like the game at at 37 shoot you can make money on gaming though you know what i'm saying if you're a big twitch person or you like stream live on youtube gaming people make money you can make a lot of money on that i don't get it <laughs> you feel me like good i appreciate it yeah now is she someone that's your type uh i would say she's cool like i wouldn't like necessarily like approach her on like a relationship type level but i would definitely like try to figure out a little bit more it's my problem i got a lot of guy friends i don't know nobody <laughs> wants to be with me i don't know <laughs> thank you <laughs> all right why do we end up popping um i wanted to hear you out the baldness doesn't bother me the nose piercings a little throw me off um you just don't seem like my type. Right. You coming in with the side hat, I get the vibe that she was getting, but I'm just right. like, I wouldn't holla at you if I seen you. So right. it's just Yeah, you gotta keep it yeah. keep it a hundred. Yeah. Keep it a book. For sure. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now is she someone that's your type? I would probably definitely yeah, I would probably talk to her. I would probably talk to her. Yeah, thank you. All right. All right, now this is the last one. You know what I'm saying? Do not tell me she wanna pop her balloon again, bro. Be the last one to pop it again, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because of his age. Come on, bro. Let me see what you're gonna do now. We've got our lone balloon over here. Any questions between the two of you? Mm. No. Mm -mm. You look like you're getting ready to pop. I think I am. Okay, See, I'm sorry. Once again. Once right, again. So why do we pop? Man, get her out of here, bro. She not looking for no love, bro. Like it's crazy. Just, like the age thing, this thing, I don't know. I'm starting to believe that it's not really the age thing. I'm starting to believe that in reality, none of them dudes that was only really her type. Or oh, probably one of them that was her type. But that was the other episode. But like, I don't know, man. Like I don't think none of the dudes right here was her type, though, to be honest. You feel me? Like, real stuff. I don't think so. So, I always think that she wasting people's time. You know what I'm saying? And it's just crazy, bro. Like, you know what I'm saying? But what, let's see what she's going to say. I hope she don't say age again, bro. You know what I'm saying? I hope she don't. Let's see, though. Honestly, I think... Um, okay, you know what? I'm going to just say it. Okay. I know that I might be your type. Probably, and I know that because of the way that you were looking at me. Right. Like, you know, you could eat me up on this floor. And, right. you know, I think when I'm initially meeting someone, especially when there's a thousand different beautiful women standing here, right. it's uncomfortable right. to constantly look at, look, be looked at like right. they want to eat. It's uncomfortable to be, to be constantly looked at. That means you are beautiful. Like, what to expect? If, if you don't look at you, that's a bad thing. Like, what the, like... What type of girl on here? <laughs> oh, I'm so uncomfortable. All these thousands of women over here be looking at me. Duh, he won't too. <laughs> like, come on, bro. This is crazy. I swear. Man, it's crazy. You up right. in that moment. Like, you know, granted, love it. Yes. Like, right. my man look at me like that. But right here, right now, it is so uncomfortable. Right. You know, right. I, I can't stand it. <laughs> and I think I get that. I get that all the time at work, and I just be like, "All right, bro. Like, I'm just trying to be here." So you don't so, you don't think that it's like the I think the male just, like that's really feeling you. You don't think that's no. Like, I feel that. That's why I said I I know for a fact that I'm your type. It's just it makes me so uncomfortable right now. Right. And that's why I was kind of like waiting. Man, the reason why it makes you feel uncomfortable because he's not your type. Know what I'm saying that's why you feel uncomfortable. I promise you that if he was your type. You be like, oh, yeah, come here, baby. You my, you, you my type. Come here. Keep looking at me, daddy. You be saying all that stuff, girl. So knock that off. You feel? That's crazy. Maybe I could just, I could chill. Right, Is he right, your right. type? You know, my friends are going to say I don't really have a type. So. You don't have a type? Everyone looks different. Love is love. You feel me? Right. So there's that. All right. That's well, crazy. <laughs> unfortunately, that is all the balloons yes, popped, but yes, we do thank you so much for yeah, coming you. on. You. you guys are beautiful, too. Let's go I ahead and give it up for him, ladies. Thank you. Damn. That's crazy.
Thank you everyone for tuning into this episode of Pop the Balloon or Find Love. If you'd like to be featured in any of our upcoming episodes, please make sure to go ahead and click on that link in the description box below and fill out a submission form to be considered. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you all next time. Yeah, man, that's crazy, though. You feel me? Like, man, uh... I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Two of them, you know what I'm saying, got a match or whatever. You feel me? What, two or three? Two, like two of them like, got a match. You know what I'm saying? But it's crazy because that that girl, like, she just cocky. And she went through all the attention on her pretty much. You know what I'm saying? She knew that he was on her. I mean, she, she knew that he was on her. You know what I'm saying? And she don't like. I, I'm surprised she said the age. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't even think the age. She just don't. Think they're attractive, you know what I'm saying? That's how that's what I feel. Cause why you wait last minute every time talk about the age? I don't know, you know what I'm saying? Like, but it's some it's some good looking girls over here, you know some good looking girls. You feel me? But yeah, you know, check it out though. I'm gonna do more reactions. You feel me? And yeah, you have a nice day. Have a you know what I'm saying? Yeah, like and subscribe to me. Let's get it. <laughs>